morning everyone this is ranger rob at the ranger rob country living channel with another windy day in central oregon so sorry about that i'll apologize ahead of time so uh uh today's uh monday and uh i gotta go for my chicken run go get our eggs uh yesterday i told you guys we we're gonna get into hydroponics and uh, boy, does that keep you up at night trying to figure it all out, what you want to do. I think we're going to go with the bucket system uh, and a returnable water system in the greenhouse. Outside, we're going to do hydroponics, but I don't think I'm going to do the return water system. And when we talk about this stuff, I also got to remember that we're preppers. So what happens if uh, we have power go down or something like that? Will this stuff still work? Uh, the bucket system for sure um, and the other system will actually work too and because we have backup systems and uh, another video I did before that I was talking about um, family inheriting your farm or homestead and stuff like that and uh, uh, I want to thank Gene he uh, actually made a uh, reply video to that um, from uh, Hamilton Radio and uh, it's kind of interesting, the perspective of somebody else who lives in the city. Um, would family want something like this? And first thing I uh, brought up was, was did I uh, have backup systems here and stuff? And perhaps I need to go back and review on some of our old videos that we've done. But yes, uh, we were spending actually a lot of money into making this a self-reliant place in case um, and if it's not for emergency it will be because things got really rough um, you, know, you look at Texas apparently a lot of those guys never thought their grid would go down or have any problems and and then they were on their lips so I don't want to be that same kind of person where we, we sit back and go how am I gonna make hot water <laughs> it's like come on people if you, talk, if you can't make hot water when the power is out, go buy a little Coleman stove with a case of little round uh, uh, propane canisters and stick it in the garage in case you need it. And if you need heat, go buy a Mr. Heat, a Mr. Heater. It uses the same propane cartridges and uh, they are some of them are rated for indoors. And just have it. And that's actually probably no more than a hundred a hundred dollar hundred fifty dollar investment and you've got that security and you're good for maybe a, a week so that's a good feeling uh sherry and i are very well we could easily easily make hot water and get heat and the whole work so yes we have prepared for that kind of stuff and if it never happens i guess some great camping gear so uh anyway i'm gonna work our way out to the chicken uh, run here uh, it's windy please don't be be too annoyed but uh the hydroponics have just kept me up at night and uh, I like it because of the feasibility of it and the rapid growing that you get from running nutrients straight to your plants uh, daily and uh, using a lot of low wattage uh, pumps uh, you know for example instead of me turning this, this into a regular garden there's going to be stakes in the ground and then they're going to be upright with little pots and you're going to see barrels here which uh, I'm going to go with 55 gallon barrels and maybe three times a day it's going to automatically send nutrients to the upright vertical growing uh, units that we're going to buy uh, in this greenhouse instead of putting up a bunch of shelves and a above ground garden um, all along the edges is going to be barrels not barrels buckets four gallon buckets with a water return system at each end we're going to have some tanks and they'll automatically recycle the water and really my job will be keeping 
the tanks full and making sure they have additives in it and uh, I could make this and maybe I will make it solar um, run by solar but I don't really need that because if the system went out I could literally take the water that has the nutrients in it and heat hit each growing bucket with uh, with what we're putting into it <coughs> on a manual basis if we're just having temporary power outage so uh, I think we could do it and I think it can do it under uh, extreme conditions if something happened so we're really close we'll be putting the plastic on this soon this will be a greenhouse in no time and uh, pretty excited so let me go get my eggs well first thing I gotta do is just go in here evaluate what kind of trouble these chickens have been getting into I hope you've been enjoying the webcam if you're wondering here's where one of the cameras are and the other camera is down there it's part of our security system and uh, and of course these guys always need food so I'm gonna fill them up all right we got the chickens all fed and the water cleaned out again and uh, we're gonna go check their eggs alrighty wow Lots of eggs. I've got really noisy chickens today. Hey girls! Quack, quack. What y'all doing? Really? Holy moly, you got a lot to say. You guys like being on TV? What are you doing? So today guys we got nine eggs out of ten chickens not bad probably get another one today and uh one of the reasons i like to think out loud on these videos is to give people a perspective if they're going into homesteading that everything is about planning uh and it's okay to change your ideas one of the reasons we're changing our idea about how we're going to do our garden is because of lumber prices that's one and two I don't know if I want to bring in a thousand dollars worth of soils so I can amend all this I'll probably amend some of it because there's certain things we can't do um, with uh, hydroponics uh, anyway <laughs> but yeah um, pl planning thinking out loud looking at ideas looking at cost of things uh, sorry about the wind again um, is an everyday thing here and there's no lack of projects here uh, one of the things I got to change is off the shop here <clears throat> I don't have power out here so I'm gonna try to get it since I got electrician coming in every week to do these projects I think I'm gonna have a 30 amp plug put out here so I can run heavy-duty heavy-duty uh, power cables uh, out to this area try to not run all the systems at the same time it will be on a circuit so that's a good thing but uh, I if I put power out here I've got to dig trenches all the way out there and I've already got I don't even know where all the water lines are here uh, it would be a nightmare so we're gonna just do the power cord thing like we're doing already only with a little bit more heavy duty stuff and uh, a little safer and uh, yeah um, I hope that you enjoy the fact that we do think out loud with you and then hopefully as you watch our videos you'll see ideas become reality soon that will be a greenhouse soon you're gonna see us starting to buy the equipment to do the hydroponics and today our freeze dryers taking two and a half months I called and the only reason they haven't shipped it is we ordered a black one and they say if you order change it to a white one we can ship it today I'm like why didn't you tell me that a month ago hell I didn't care what color it is so anyway uh, so I'm hoping within a week maybe we'll see our freeze dryer you know see us go through the nightmare trying to get that set up and uh, 
<laughs> the other thing I've been working on is we have a garage full of beds in here, right here. I'm not going to open it up. And I finally got both of the beds sold. Now my problem is getting them to pick them up. Pick them up. And the reason I want that is I need room in this garage so we have a little more room to work with our freeze dryer. <laughs> so, cause and effect, right? So anyway, why, um, anyway please uh, leave your comments below. Say hello to us. And uh, uh, let me know if you're doing hydroponics or interested in it. We are doing it. <clears throat> Do we know anything about it? Hey, we're watching YouTube. That makes us experts, right? Anyway, we're watching a lot, studying a lot, and uh, we want to do it. So, uh, let's see how it goes. So, guys, thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Really, take the time and hit the like button right now. I'll wait. Like button. Yep. Anyway, and uh, subscribe, too. We'd appreciate it. And share. Uh, those are the things that really help us. And don't forget to buy one of our new uh, Keep On Rednecking hats. Uh, there's a link below if you want one. Uh, mine's coming. I should have it every, any day. I'm kind of excited to get it. Uh, and uh, yeah. So guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.